Hi, folks. Before we go on with um, the comments that I want to read here for you, and I love doing these comments because a lot of times, you know, people will comment in a video, but they don't come back to the channel to check the other comments that someone else has made. So I like doing these because it's we can kind of like, you know, delineate what's going on, you know, and what people's perspectives are. And so I have a message after you hear these comments that I made about this this afternoon or th this morning to my to one o'clock because I ended my dash around one and I'll tell you I'll explain why in the second half of this video but anyways check this out so on on dash two uh, let's see on says do you do you not watch his channel he showed his earnings in one of the his recent videos he makes like 50 to 60 a day and calls it a day only his offers are like six to seven dollars each. Guys making two hundred to three hundred dollars a day grinds ten to thirteen hours a day. Believe me, even in good markets, this is coming from someone that used to be a full uh, in a full time big market. Now that may be so, but there's people bragging that they make three, four, five hundred dollars a day out there, and I've seen channels where they actually show that that's what they made but is it really what they made are they are they faking it are they showing false numbers what's going on right so and i just said thanks very much i wish it was my market right michelle sonia says if i can't afford a place to live or if you if you can't afford a place to live why would you keep doing this really want to know be, please tell me how anyone can defend this as a way to make a living, I can't even defend doing the part time any anymore in Houston. Well, that's a good question. Um, when I say that I can't afford it, I can I can afford to pay my rent and and a few bills, but I can't I can't do any more. There's no leeway with with my with my market right as at the current state of affairs. And the summer was terrible. The summer just killed me. A lot of people are going through this. Obviously, I have, well, I, I'm looking for other part-time work or even full-time so I can go to part-time. I'm not going to beat a, a dead horse either, but I also have to stay in the fight myself to go after these companies. I'm not going to just let them off with what they've done to us. We, I want I want to recover money that they've stolen from me in the community, not just for me. If it was for me, I wouldn't even be doing this channel. I just go out and do it and you never hear about it. I'm telling you people all of these things so it will motivate you to do something. Okay? Because a lot of people, and by the way, a lot of people are take, taking action. But the thing is, is that, you know, uh, there is, there before, I'm not going to say there wasn't other channels that were talking about stuff that I talk about. But my, my channel seems to be more hardcore. I'll, I'll tell you stuff in the raw, folks, you know, as dry as toast. People don't want to hear it, or they, a lot of people don't like to hear truth that's being told to, told to them. They just want to just believe their own thing. Truth is truth. You know, opinions are opinions, too. Am I always right? No, I'm not. But I try to give you the best information I can to make decisions that you need to make that you should make most people will just do things blindly some people will never even find my channel because it'll never be this channel i doubt will ever get big and i'm not looking for that it's not it's not for my sake because i'm not making any money i'm not doing this for money a lot of people think i'm crazy because they'll say just monetize monetize no i'm doing it for many reasons folks it's too hard to explain to you but um there's some t things in life that are more important than money, like my spiritual life, all right? Um, anyways, that, that's another talk for another time. But anyway, so that hope, hopefully that answers a little bit to you. And by the way, thanks, Michelle, because you're always awesome. You always put a lot of great comments in. Now, th this is a contrast. This other uh, uh, comment I'm going to read is a contrast to the one that On set up here, right? Listen to what Junior Under the Sea says. He says, who makes two to three hundred dollars a day with a question mark? I have to stay online the street waiting six hours morning 
and six to seven hours a night to make in better days 145 to 165. See, that sounds like me, Junior. That's basically my market. Like, if I, I I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm, but I'm guessing I'm going to go back out at four o'clock today and I'm going to stay out. I'm going to force myself to stay out till midnight or a little bit past it because I want to see what I can make for the entire day. I don't, I, I don't look at basically the morning or the lunch or whatever. I look at what I brought home for the day, but then you have to a add in the hours. Now, you, in the second part of this video, I'm going to explain to you some things, so stick around for the second part. Anyways, he says, I make it in better days, 145 to 165. It's not the saturation. They, it's not the saturation. They are lo there are lots of orders for everyone. I can decline 40-something orders in my morning shift and 50 orders in the night shift. So orders are there. These companies that don't want their orders, wait, that doesn't want their orders delivered because they don't want us making good money. Oh, that's that's true. He says, sometimes I think the, the GOB talked with them. I don't know what he means by that. <coughs> talked with them to ask them to pay a a misery to pay us <coughs> misery and keep us down because the rest of the workforce in the USA can be hurt if these companies allow the drivers to earn good money. Nobody will nobody wants to work for other companies if them are making a good living wage with the gig apps. Right. I see and he he makes a lot of sense here because think about it folks. If this if this was so good of a gig, right? Why isn't everyone doing it? Well, not everyone is doing it, but a lot of people that normally wouldn't be doing this job have come to do this job in the past 2 years because the times got tough. They didn't some people didn't want to take the JAB in their arm or wear a W E A R over their face. I'm sorry, wear a W M A S K over their face. Uh, okay. And so they made choices to like leave their jobs and then they heard, oh, well, I can make some money coming on doing, um, you know, DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats or whatever, whatever app that the person is using. At this point, I'm on like 70% of the apps, if not 80%. I'm not on GoPuff, but I'm on a whole bunch of other ones. Point Pickup, Spark, Lyft, Instacart. Instacart is terrible, though. They're always, they've been terrible in my market. And I used to do Instacart years ago, well, a couple of years back, and it was it was pretty good. You could make on some orders with like 20 items, 75 bucks, $50 on like 10, 15 items, right? I used to get orders like that. Now, pfft. You get like ones that come through that say twelve dollars for twenty seven items, uh, you know, tw uh, thirty dollars with. They want you to take two shop shop orders, and and they're and one of them has fifty six items in it, another one has sixty four. Like they're out of their mind the way they've changed everything, and the problem is, is you got these idiots that go out there to spend an hour and a half or an hour at the store picking up all this stuff and then going to deliver it for what? $16 makes no, no sense. That's why Instacart, like if Instacart was my only app, if I got deactivated from every app and they were my last choice, I would probably go get a W2 job like, and just try to do that. Or I, I don't know what I do. I mean, <laughs> it's just, uh, Instacart is the, not a choice of mine. Although, there are some times where you turn the app on and there could be something pretty cool. Like a couple of times I've turned it on, I saw like something for 25 bucks, picking up five, six items at the, at the store. And if I see something like that, yeah, I'm going to go do it because five, six items, they'll t I can do that and that whole job from start to finish and delivered within 20, 25 minutes. And that's pretty good in a half hour's time, right? So, let me see. Is there anything else? No, okay, the, the other ones I've already read. But isn't it funny how you go from the contrast of um, what I just read to you about do you not watch this channel? He's talking about Pedro. Okay, pa yeah, Pedro, look, Pedro has no problems making 
200 bucks in a day over there within eight hours. I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it myself. Um, but that's not reality for the rest of us. And God bless him. He's in a good market. I mean, I've thought of actually moving to St. Louis just to, just to try a new area of, uh, in, in America. And if I ever do move anywhere, probably St. Louis will be one of my first stops. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, okay, let's move on to the second part of this video because this I recorded this before I recorded it. Uh, this was earlier recorded, only about, like, 20 minutes ago. But I want you guys to hear what how my morning to my afternoon shift went. So let's move on to that. Hi, folks. Welcome back to another video, another message here on Friday. I wanted to update you on what's going on in my market. Of course, this is like speculation because I can't prove it. But um, so I was on since 822 this morning. I never shut my app off. I never paused it except for a little couple of brief pauses where, you know, like you're sitting and you hit the pause to see if it will activate, you know, in your mind, you're thinking, okay, maybe the algorithm will figure that I'm available now, you know, so I paused it like once or twice and then came right back in, in on the app. You know what I mean? I'm sure some of you have done that before up until one o'clock, which is five, well, four and a half hours, four and a half hours. Cause it was really like 8.30, 8.22, 8.30. So three, three and a half hours. I'm sorry, four and a half hours. Because 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30. Yeah, four and a half hours. I only made $47. Now, I ended my dash early because I'm like, am I going to just sit around for another hour and they might send me something for like whatever they send me? And I said, let me go home because I... Usually take a little nap before I go out for the second dash. The second dash is the one that I really count on because it's dinner time. And lunchtime, it's very hard to, to really make money in my area. The most I ever made it from like 11 to 2 on a dash, like if I worked 11 to 2 in normal times was like fit maybe 50 bucks if I was lucky. It's usually anywhere from 35 to, to 50 but it's more on the 40, 40 ish side. So, so I made 45 bucks. Now, a lot of you probably stay out all day, right? For 12 straight hours or whatever. And the dead times are between 1.30 and basically 4. However, people do get paid on a Friday. So a lot of people who may be home from work or they work from home might order food at different times. So the thing is, is that um, what's really unusual is it is a Friday. People do get paid on Friday. And yet there's one of three things that's happening. Or they could all be at the same time, maybe. One, the top dashes are getting, getting fed a lot of the orders because there's too many dashes on. And percentages of those top dashes are in a high percentile where they see orders first. So they get to nip and, and tuck the orders and take what they want, right? The other thing is that it could be possibly slow or slower than it normally is, which is really weird for a Friday. Or there is too, uh, there's too many dashers and not enough orders coming out of these restaurants. Now, when I say that, I actually sat around a few areas where I normally do, and I saw a ton of, of people. And you can tell who the dashes are because they're sitting in their car. Most of them have that little hookup that goes to their window, which I don't have in my car. Uh, I used to. I don't like using them because it's a distraction. And I can use, I put usually put my uh, voice, the voice activated stuff, so I know where I'm going. I don't have to look at the map in order to know where I'm going. But I do check it once in a while. But I don't have that, that thing hanging down from my uh, windshield. So when I see that, I automatically assume or know that it's a rideshare person. Because most people who don't do rideshare or deliveries don't have that set up in their car. 
So when I get out of my car and I look around, you know, I see these young kids and I look in it, you know, it's dashes. And they, they, a lot of them were sitting doing nothing. But there was ones that were moving around. Now, how do we know they're top dashes or not? We don't 100% know, but all you got to do is ask, hey, are you a top dasher? Maybe they don't even know that they're top dasher. There could be people out there, folks, that have been driving for a while. They don't use YouTube. They don't check anything out, and they just drive, and they've been driving blindly, taking everything, and just by default, they're like 70 to 100% uh, you know, 70 to 100 percenters, I call them. So in other words, they could be a top dasher and not even know they're top dasher, but that's far and few between. I don't think there's that many naive drivers. So then you come to another conclusion or possible conclusion. Are they timing us out? Are they, do they have a new set of rules going on? Is, is DoorDash changing the algorithm to suit the needs of the company and less for the drivers. In other words, capping us or preventing us from getting orders. My answer is I think it's all of the above in some roundabout way. I don't think that it's uh, any one set answer, but I think it's several of them. And it could be something I'm not even mentioning here or I'm missing. Could you guys write in the comments what your area is like or has been like today if you have been out? Is it busy? Are you making money? Are you a top dasher? Are you not? And if you are a top dasher, don't be afraid to tell me in the comments. I'm not going to rip you apart, even though I don't like top dashes because I know what it's ruining it's ruining the rest of the, the community. It just is. Because it's it's giving an okay to the company to continue to make that that uh, program continue. And the regular dashes who just don't take everything and we, we cherry pick or we decline orders, I really feel that they are, they're, they're quietly pausing us. Because I haven't seen it this bad except for the summertime. We are in fall going towards winter, and it usually gets a lot better around this time. And it was a couple of weeks back. It, it seemed like, oh, things are right back on schedule. It could also be a, as a new influx of drivers. There could be all new drivers that have signed up and are working. They just started. I don't know. You tell me, folks, in the comments, because today is bizarre. I mean, I wouldn't have ended my dash at 1 o'clock if I was continuing. Like, if if I got one after another, or I even got one every 10 or 15 minutes. I just haven't been given any orders, any deliveries in the past hour. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to end this, go home, get a nice rest, come back out at 4, and work till midnight. I'm still going to work past midnight because uh, I want to see what I'm going to finish off by the day. I did decline a bunch of orders, but they, they weren't very high priced. Matter of fact, the only good one I saw was like an 1150 that came through. All the other ones that I've been offered today were all low ball offers between four, five, six, and seven dollars. I didn't get any eight, nines, or tens today for lunch. So, anyways, that's the update I have for you at this point. I'm going to try to make another video tonight uh you guys may not see it because i might have to post it tomorrow morning about the results from today for tonight and i have another video coming out later today hopefully um and discussing uh hiding the uh the mileage uh, i mean i'm sorry hiding the item counts in the deliveries so just Wait for that one later on today. It'll be out later today. So I want to thank each and every one who's come to this next message video here. And um, if you're new, please hit the subscription button, the like button, and the notification bell so you won't miss any more videos. And I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.